Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another Primal Pursuit mission. Ollie here. Day three of this three day dive trip around New Zealand. And I'm pumped. I'm in good spirits. I think this is the day we're gonna get a good fish. So, sun's just gonna start peeking up. Gonna cruise way out here. Bunch of islands. Oh, I'm pumped. Not a breath of wind. Here's the Primal Pursuit IRB, ready for another mission. Let's do this. One with a choke, two with a choke, choke off. Every time. Let's go get some fish. Big mark boy. It's often worth checking if that tide's pushing, just just look past. See if you can see any bait fish or yellowtail kingfish underneath. Hot spot for kingfish, but um, no luck there. And I've heard of a great white shark uh, visiting this area uh, in all seriousness, so we'll, <laughs> we'll move on. Just stopped at this little rocky outcrop here. We've still got about three and a half hours of incoming tide, which is perfect. But yeah, I'll just want the limbs in this little this little shallow spot here and we'll see if we can pluck a John Dory or, or something just to start the day off well. But the thing is with winter often closer to closer to the mainland, um, that's where the fish are, especially species like Trevelli and stuff. They actually come into the shallow harbours and stuff in winter, some big ones. So yeah, we'll just have a quick look around here, warm up a bit. Should I say get cold again, but warm up the lungs and uh, I'll leave it literally for 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, then we'll push on out to the spot where I'm gonna really go for some snapper. Heaps of trevally down there, not very big. If I spot a big one, I'll shoot it. Other than that, it's um, fairly dirty, so we'll have a quick look 10 15 minutes. If nothing good turns up, we'll move on.
Trevelli. That's two Trevelli for me. That's enough. It's not the most pleasurable diving. So uh, it's too dirty. We'll go up further, eh? Fish life there is and uh, get the job done. Let's do it. Only two minutes into the dive, I spook a huge snapper just milling mid water in this gutter here. So I crush up a few kinna, throw them over, and here I am five minutes later just checking to see if I've lured the fish back in. Peeking along here, just taking my time. It's really murky, surgy. It's very hard to see anything. Hard hunting conditions. I throw a few more over, wait another five minutes. Back down here in the gutter, there's no snapper about. I've spooked him off unfortunately. All good, it's early days. Plenty more time to get some snapper. There's a few bait fish milling around. few mau mau and wrasse of sorts. No target species yet. As you can see it's starting to chop up quite a lot. Onshore wind, bit of swell. It's not the most comfortable conditions. I see one of my favourite eating fish, the butterfish. Just can't quite get the shot off and it disappears into the green murk as I just skim past it with the spear. I move around the corner trying to hide from the swell and wind. It's definitely more calmer, a bit more cleaner here, but as you can see quite barren. I do the same here again, crushing up half a dozen kinna, but there's nothing around so time to move spots. Well guys, just a bit of a, a bit of a dive update. It's uh, pretty green and, and dirty and a lot rougher than uh, the, the weather forecast predicted. Very choppy and surgy. Um, yeah, not, not nice diving conditions really. So I tucked around the corner, I've had a look all over the place. I did spook one big snapper at the start. He was just down in this big, deep, dark gut. I could just make out this huge snapper. I wasn't sure if he saw me, so I kind of took a hastily shot and just as I pulled the trigger he, he turned at the same time and just skimmed past him. A beautiful snapper. Um, but anyways that's spear fishing. Win time you lose some. I'm gonna try and find another island. Um, hopefully somewhere a bit, bit more sheltered um, and hopefully of some clearer water. Thought it would have pushed in a bit more clearer water with this incoming tide but um, yeah anyways we'll, we'll keep going. We'll, we'll find some fish. We've got those trevelli so it's not all lost, we're just out here on the water. Could be worse things to be doing.
I managed to find some cleaner water. There's a snapper here below this ledge. I have the opportunity at a shot, but I'm after a big snapper today. I decide to leave this fish, as if I take that fish, the noise is going to scare away any other fish in the area. So I hold off and keep creeping along this kelpie ledge. Where there's snapper, there's usually more, so I crushed up a few kinna where I saw the smaller snapper, aiming to come back and see if I could lure a bigger model in. There's some nice gutters through here, good terrain. Nothing yet, so I moved back to my few kinna I've smashed up, just behind this ledge here. It's a perfect little spot, got some nice long kelp to hold on to, seaweed, peeking over. You can see a few small snapper and then spot a nice fish. Wait for my chance, wait for it to turn broadside, extend the spear gun and take the shot. I'm pretty happy with my decision to hold off on the earlier fish. I've got a nice snapper. Stone killed the fish right through the brain. Perfect shot. It's a stunning fish in good condition, nice and fat, really good sized eating fish. I'm a while from the boat and with a real gun so I clip it off to the handle. Not recommending this, especially not in summer as sharks could come and steal your fish and uh, could get a bit dodgy there so yeah don't recommend that. Anyways here I am moving a little bit further down the coast. It's still nice and clean, very fishy little spot. Schools of bait fish here, quite active looking. Make a few dives up and down, have a look for some crayfish, spook a few more smaller snapper and find a nice, nice spot close to a deep drop off. Crush up one last pile of kinna and let that sit while I take in the sights from the surrounding area. A very cool, healthy looking ecosystem in this area. Oh, finally some clear water and it's very fishy this area so going to spend some time, watch out for the seals, there's seals all over these rocks uh, which is a bit, uh, a bit scary. <laughs> I slowly make my way down to the ledge where I've set my ground bait. I can already see a few snapper tails milling around, hovering above the kelp there. There's a step off just in front of me, drops a few meters down onto the sandy bottom. I spot a nice fish just as I'm starting to run out of breath. I want a good clean shot on this fish so I resurface to catch my breath and head back down again. I'm just slowly creeping along, using the kelp to my advantage, help me stay low. I'm getting close now. Spot the tail just sifting around in the kelp bed below, eating the free feed of smashed open kinna. I know there's one good sized snapper down there, so I'm just being patient. I'm waiting for the right shot to present itself. The 
the shot doesn't quite present itself so I'm back up for one last breath surely this time once again creeping along the seafloor using your arms to pull you along saves your legs using up all your oxygen creeping along here and I get a glimmer of the big snapper's tail just down here to the left there he is just check there's no more other ones nope all right here's my chance I push out extend the gun got the good shot here right behind the head and pull the trigger the shot looks good fish takes off into the weed I can see the shaft's gone right the way through so it's a good safe holding shot and it looks like I've got another beautiful snapper on board As the fish nears the surface, it's a lot bigger than I thought. It's a really nice snapper. Bigger than the first snapper I've got today. So yeah, plenty of good eating fish for the coming weeks. I'm stoked. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Bloody beautiful. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's get back to the beach and have a cook up. Yeah. I'm on my way back to the boat, swimming along in the shallows and I encounter this big large fur seal. It's a big one and it's very curious. I'm a bit worried, I've got two fish trailing me and the seal knows this. It can see me, it can see the fish, but it's very friendly and relaxed still quite unpredictable these seals. I can read shark behaviour but these things can flip a switch sometimes quite quickly and almost get a bit aggressive knowing to bite quite a few spear fishermen. The seal does a few twirls, puts on a little show for me and finally decides to leave me alone. Just about back at the boat, I see a nice big stingray cruising along below. I always like to go and say hello to these guys. I don't get too close though. Still got that big barb on the back that gives me the shivers. I spot some of my other ocean friends below. So go down and whack open a nice kinna for them. It's not very fat, but they still like it. Awesome experience feeding these rats. Most friendliest fish I've ever come across. Beautiful colours, very cool fish.
Oh guys, what an awesome little session that was. Snapper everywhere, just a very fishy spot. I was struggling all morning, green, dirty water, um, ocean side, swell, chop, it was rough. Uh, it wasn't very enjoyable at all, um, just tough, tough diving. I almost threw the towel in, I was just about to, to head back and just uh, call it a day, but um, yeah, that's just not me. I always just try that one last spot or one last dive to get a fish, so I thought, bugger it, I'll, I'll shoot off down the coast and I found a, this rocky outcrop here and thought I'd give it a go. Um, sure enough, had a bit better viz, um, a bit more current, um, a bit more karma, a bit more shelter, just everything and uh, yeah, heaps of bait fish, then some smaller snapper and then bigger snapper and bigger snapper and yeah, I managed some beautiful fish. Two really nice snapper. Look at the awesome coloration on that guy beautiful way eh? um, so yeah that's a that's a good snapper pretty stoked about that so yeah two nice fit snapper that's plenty of fish for me um, that's that's more than enough I've got two trevally two nice snapper so that's gonna keep me going for a while no need to take any more there was snapper everywhere I could have kept shooting them but um, that's all good we don't need any more yep that wind's definitely picking up let's get back and have a cook up G'day everyone, welcome back. We're at the beach. Oh, nice and warm, wet it off. Got our beautiful Trevally, one of the Trevally I shot this morning. Look at the colours on this thing. And we're going to do some beautiful fish wraps. So let's get this filleted. Now Trevally's beautiful eating raw as sashimi and, and whatnot. It's an excellent eating fish for that, but Today I'm just going to crumb it up, I think it's equally as good crumbed or just pan fried in butter, so let's do it, let's get this filleted. One fillet. It's gonna be plenty of meat just on this one fish for me. Get this other side. All right, look at those. Tasty. Let's get the skin off and any bones out. Seagulls as usual, trying to steal my fish. It'd be rude not to try at least some raw. That's so good eating this Trevally. Mm. Just straight fresh, beautiful. Okay, we'll get all our chunks of fish into here. Okay, we've got our mayonnaise. Get that all mixed in. Breadcrumbs. We will add a few veggies with it, just a bit of capsicum pepper, some red onion, some avocado and uh, of course a bit of squeeze of lemon juice on the end, can't go wrong. And to top, top it off, a bit of coriander and some corn chips, I'll show you later.
just love coriander with fish. Good old wraps. Okay, we've got all our fresh ingredients prepped. Hey mate, how are you doing? Bit of a visitor. What's your name bro? <laughs> Alright, that's starting to cook through slowly. Add a bit of salt. Alright, that's pretty much cooked. It's a little bit raw in the middle still. But that's perfect. It's going to be nice and succulent. I don't want to overcook it. Yeah, really important not to overcook fish. Oh, looking good. Fresh trevally. Right, let's get a bit of evo. Evo on each. Bit of colour. Bit of capskin. Red onion. Coriander, don't be shy. Then one little secret ingredient. Crush up some corn chips. And this just gives that, that little bit of a extra, extra kick. All right, look at those. Fresh Trevally tacos, wraps, whatever. Let's try one out, eh? Look at that. Bloody good. I don't know I'm gonna say that, but nah, you saw me make them. Can't beat fresh fresh fish wraps, so yeah. Tasty. Oh, that's me for the afternoon. Finish off my wraps, take a chill. Beautiful afternoon. Oh guys, just scoffed those wraps back. I was pretty hungry after this big day. I was so keen to get them in my stomach that I forgot to squeeze a bit of lemon juice on top. Anyways, they were delicious nonetheless. Hey, thanks for coming along on another Primal Pursuit mission. If you want to check out some of my merch, primalpursuit.co.nz, it's in the description. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next adventure. Thanks for watching, guys. Safe diving out there. Cheers.